Hey guys, it's Lily LPS here, and today's video is drawing your mascots. And you're probably thinking, um, what's going on? Well, a few days ago on my community page, I asked you guys if you wanted me to draw your mascots, and if so, to send me pictures on Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. And let's just say, you guys delivered. Got around 20 people asking, 30, I don't know. A lot of you guys wanted me to draw your mascot. So if you guys like this video, I guess I might do a part two, but for now, I'm going to be drawing four of your mascots. It takes me a while to draw and like line and color in all of the pieces of art. So that is the reason I am only doing four, but let's get into the video. The first mascot I will be doing is LPS Strongpaws mascot. It is number 960. So how I usually start off a drawing, I draw a circle and slowly build it up by adding ears onto it, the fluff, and the body, but I always start off with the head and the eyes and the nose and things like that. So here I am working on the eyes. And I usually experiment with different eyes depending on different things I'm drawing but with the manga anime style animals I'm doing here this is the kind of eyes I do and then I'm doing the highlights and ears and starting on the body and the feet it's really hard to draw the body because I figure out the proportion sizes of the body and the face and see how it works but with this style usually faces are bigger and like eyes are big so it isn't too hard and now I'm going on to line art, the scariest part, because you cannot erase it. I used to not do line art because I'd get so scared that I'd mess the whole drawing up and I'd have to redraw it. And if this was like I thought it was a good drawing and then I went in with line art, I'd be all worried that I'd mess it up. But I also have this other thing, a light box, where you can trace over top of it so you, you can have two copies, the line art and the like original drawing I do sometimes if it's like difficult. So here I am now going in with the markers. I am using Copic markers and I usually put three shades of one color like of the base. So this one's brown which means I have a dark, medium which is the base and light which is the highlights. So also another strategy I use, I put out lines showing where I want the dark to be and the light. So now I am putting on the base color, which is the color that I have most of on the drawing. And with this color, you have to make sure you don't go over top of the light bits, aka the highlights, so you don't like completely ruin the color and it's that color turns into the base color. And once I've put down the base color, I go over the shadows and highlights so they can stand out more and they're not just blended in too much. I don't know what you guys do, but this is just how I do it. I don't know if it's right or wrong, I just find it makes it look better. And now I am putting out the outline to make it stand out more and make the eyes stand out more. The next mascot I will be doing is Snags. Green Snake, which is 969. Now I am doing the same thing how I started off the last drawing, which is drawing out the basic shapes of the snake. And now I'm going in with the line art. So once again, this is the hardest bit I find because there's no going back after this. And with this drawing, I only had to use two colors or main colors, green and pink. So here I am going in with the darkest colors, which is the shadows and the highlights, which is the lightest color. And now I am putting in the base slash main color and with the main color I always put like two layers in because or else it goes blotchy and that is not fun. So yeah. And then I'm going over the shadows and highlights to make them stand out more or else they'll just fade away and you won't be able to see them. And now I'm going in with the tongue and the outline. I always match the outline with the color I've got least of so it makes it stand out more. Mascot I will be doing is Megan LPS. It is number 2118 and it is the Sparkle Show. 
Okay, now I am doing a cat. I love cats. Like, I love them. And I love drawing them. They're the most common animal I draw because it is so much fun to draw. And I love doing all the fluff and things. So this drawing took the longest out of all of them. But that doesn't matter because it was so much fun. The eyes took forever to do and make sure they look right. They kept on looking strange and I kept me changing them all the time because I didn't want to come off as perfect because I'm not perfect at drawing. No one is going to ever be 100% perfect so I wanted to keep that in to tell you that it's okay if you make mistakes because you can rub them out and redraw them and you might come up with something that you are more happy with. And another thing I found really difficult was these shapes on the face where the sparkles were because they were kind of hard to draw because there were really certain shapes that made it look more of a tiger but I could not do that so it took me a while to figure it out. So the line art, one of my favourite parts but it is the hardest I find. But yeah, I love doing rounded fluff. Little side note, I completely did the ears a wrong colour. I thought the whole thing was yellow, so I coloured the whole thing in yellow, but in a few seconds I figured it out and changed the ears because I'm just like, oh no, I did it wrong. But yeah. <laughs> By this point I figured out every single LPS I chose to draw had blue eyes so yeah the only one I didn't outline in blue was the one I did for snack which was a snake so just ignore that. <laughs> Next mascot I will be doing is Amy LPS Productions the LPS King Charles 1825. So this is the final drawing I will be doing for the video, but it was the funnest, I think. I really enjoyed doing this one. The ears took so long to do because I didn't know if I want spiky or like I said before, rounded fluff ears. But yeah, it took a while, but I figured it out.
I accidentally colored in the tail brown when it was supposed to be white, but oh well, I fixed it. It isn't too bad, but yeah, it's a little annoying. <laughs> But back on to the grey, I decided to make the whole bits white grey to make it stand out more and it didn't look unfinished and it looked like I put more effort into it than leaving it the same colour as the original paper. And I really like how the fur turned out. I chose a light blonde for the highlights and it really gives it something that makes it look really nice. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just like how it turned out. The eyes were a greeny blue colour, I didn't have a colour close to it so I did blue and green. I tested it out before I did it so I kind of had an idea of how it would look and I really like how it turned out. But yeah, the lining, I decided to do the same colour as the eyes, do the greeny blue. So I went in with green first and then I went in blue and it looked really nice. for watching this video of me drawing people's mascots and if you would like your mascot to be drawn or a part two to this drawing series thingy and i'll do a part two if you guys like this video and i love drawing so of course i'm probably gonna end up doing a part two but yeah i chose four people that replied to the post i put out so if you would like your mascot to be drawn comment down below your mascot number and you might have a chance that i will draw it for you so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!